So we're just going to talk about some uh, general relationships in these Cartesian forms for graphing um, ellipses and hyperbolas. And so as I, I look at this first one, um, this is going to be an ellipse, I know, because it's addition. Um, and I also know where the center is. The center is at this point HK. So if I were graphing this, whatever the center is, is going to be HK. It's the center of my ellipse. Um, now, the next thing I know is um, I have this number squared under the X minus H squared. Um, so this is my offset in the X direction. And it's actually the square root of that. So um, this distance that's right here, whatever it is, is A. And that's, that's going to be uh, in both directions. So A in that direction and A in this direction as well. So my offset in the X direction is A. And then um, this number right here, this B, this is my offset in the Y direction. So it's, under, it's under the Y. And I'm, I'm just calling it B. So this distance right here is B off the center. And it's, it's in both, both directions. So it's here and here. And then my actual ellipse fits inside there. And you know, sometimes I draw the dotted rectangle along the outside. So I have those two relationships. Now, um, the next thing is the, the C, where are the foci at? And the way that I drew this, it looks like A is greater than B. So my foci will be in, in this direction in this case, since A is bigger than B, just the way I drew it. Um, so the, the relationship that I know about, about C is uh, C squared equals A squared com compared to B squared, but it's the opposite operator. So since that's plus, this is minus. And now my A and B are a little arbitrary here. It, A is not always the number that's underneath the X. For an ellipse, A is just the one that is the largest. So it's basically largest minus smallest. And then my, um, my foci, the, the C, is the distance from the center to the foci. So distant to, to each focus. So let me get that on here. So in this case, if A is the bigger one, I have my foci along that major axis. And this right here is, is C. You notice it's not C squared, it's, it's C. Now, if my ellipse was this way, where, where the number that's underneath the, the Y squared is bigger, my foci would be here and here. It's always along the, the major axis. So, all right, so there's that relationship for ellipses. Now, for hyperbolas, it's, it's very much the same thing. Uh, my center is at HK in both of these cases. H and notice um, H, K. Notice H is with X always, and K is with Y. So it's not about the order, it's about which number they're with. Um, offset in the X direction is A. So same, same basic idea. This would be A. And in this case, same thing. This would be A. So I have this offset of A in whatever direction A is. Uh, I'm sorry, in the X direction, whatever distance A is. Um, in this case, I have my B under my Y, so I have my offset in the Y direction of B. So this distance right here would be B. However long long B is. And notice it's B squared under there, right? So I have to I have to square root it. So I'm going to have B in some direction. Whoops, I wanted to have black for that. I have B in some direction. And then it's really important for me to, to sketch my rectangle here because that's going to frame out the shape. So I know that ellipses are like inside out. I'm sorry, hyperboles are like inside out ellipses. And so now I have to decide what, what direction it's going to go. In this case, it's x squared minus y squared, so it's going in the x direction. And in this case, it's y squared minus x squared, so it's going in the y direction. All right. And then, now let's do those foci. I still have c squared. And c squared is a squared compared to b squared, but it's the opposite operator. So if this one's minus, this is going to be plus. So, and then C is in the direction of 
it, C is in the direction of the vertices. So in this one, C would be here, where that's C. And in this one, C would be here, where that distance is C. Again, it just goes with the direction that the uh, hyperbola is going. So last piece then is the eccentricity of these. Now we usually just call it C over A, but it's a little arbitrary which one's A. So in the ellipse, it's uh, C over the larger one, whatever dis direction this is going. And then in, um, in a hyperbola, it's C over the, uh, the direction. Um, I'll say to the vertex. So in this case, it would be this is this it'd be c over this value, but in this one it'd be c over this value, which which we were calling b, but it it's kind of arbitrary. So it's c over the direction that it's going. That one. All right. So that's general relation.